economic transformation and social change in the face of a worrisome data of people living below one dollar is one topic currently on the front burner in its contribution to help eradicate poverty, First Bank of Nigeria PLC, a pioneer institution with over a century in operations, has put together an impact series lecture. Now speaking at the maiden edition, an icon of collateral free banking, Professor Mohammed Yunus, says microfinance banks should not be an extension of conventional bank, but banking unconventionally to help the truly poor. And leave the industry. Being the first, as the saying goes, for First Bank is one huge call of responsibility. And as management maintained, we want to remain first. So, putting out the first foot right, as far as tackling poverty is concerned through microfinance, the bank has put together this town hall impact series, and the Nigeria poor is the target. Most of the social unrests we have in Nigeria today. Take its origin from poverty at different levels. And we will be doing this country with great favor if those of us in this room, whom I consider as the elites, both as individuals and as institutions, to sit down and decide how we want to move this country forward. The roll call at this event lends a lot of credibility. And in addition, this man, Professor Yunus Mohammed, for over 35 years, has grown a model Grameen Bank in Bangladesh that has provided collateral free loans to 5 million clients. Just how is this possible? The principle we adopted right from the very beginning, people should not go to the bank. Banks should go to the people. So it's our job, ever since we started our work, we always do our banking at the doorstep of our borrowers. They don't have to come to our office. Office is for us to maintain our records. That's all. Ramin Bank model, as explained by Professor Yunus, seeks to contrast all known rule about conventional banking. For him, the poorer, the more eligible to be a customer against what is obtainable in microfinance banks, which is mere SME funding. Borrowers are in the board of the bank. They decide what the interest rate should be not me, not somebody else, and have to calculate how to balance it out. From the lecture time through the panelists and audience participation, all agreed that values, sincerity, and creating social businesses rather than mega profit microfinance institutions is the right model for the rural poor. Philips, Channels Television News.